Hi, my name is Justin Schaff and I run our engineering team here at Patch My PC. In this video, we're going to be talking about an error that we've been seeing with a few of our customers when they're publishing updates and it fails to publish. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open our patchmypc.log from our publishing service utility here. The error that we're going to be talking about today would be an error code that says uh, the update failed to sign the package. Error code was 21479-42403. So if this is your error code, you're in the right place. Now that specific exit code is not really all that helpful, but if we do a copy of that and then do a control L and CM trace, we can look up that error code. If we take a quick look at this, we can see we get something a little more helpful. So when we're trying to publish the update, it's saying the system cannot find the path specified. Now, uh, what we'll first notice is that you may come out here and say, let me take a quick look at where my WSUS content is. So under the HQ local machine, software Microsoft update services server setup, we can come here and see the location where the WSUS content path was configured when WSUS was initially installed. So, you know, that's probably the first thing that you would think to check. So we'll come over here in file explorer. We'll go to that J drive and we can see the WSUS is fo folder is there. And we do have our update services packs and our WSUS content. So that actually looks pretty good. The next thing that you would think to check in this uh, error code would be looking at our shares on the uh, device. So if we open up a uh, computer management and look at the shares, we can also see that the update service pack in WSUS content folder are shared out and they are pointing to that valid path that we have. So uh, what we've seen in this scenario is generally this has to do when you may have configured a second software update point on a separate server that is sharing the same database. So if we replicate this error, uh, we'll take a little bit of a deeper look in at what's actually happening here. So first thing I'm gonna do is come over to my WSUS logs folder. So under C program files, update services, log files. Now this log can get up to 20 megs. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this .old so we can go ahead and start a new log file so CM trace can render it faster. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and choose to run a sync. What we're gonna notice here is we're gonna, of course, get that same error code. There we go, so we got the error code there that the folder is not found. Now, if we come over here and actually look at the software distribution log, which is the WSUS log, we can get a little bit more details about what's actually happening. Now, if we look at this, what we can notice is that when we're actually trying to publish the update, we can see that it's actually pointing to this D drive rather than that J drive that we're expecting and what exists in the registry uh, and in IIS. So even if we look at IIS really quick, we can also see on this main server that we configured our publishing service on in the top level software update point in WSUS, we can see that even IIS has configured this path here. So why is it going to that D drive? Now what we want to do is go ahead and open up the SQL Management Studio console wherever your WSUS database is. From there, you can go ahead and right click and choose to query the SUSDB. And we're gonna go ahead and launch the query here. So what we're doing here, we're saying uh, select local content cache location from TB configuration B. So this is gonna be doing a query against the WSUS database. And what we can see here is that we did a return and it's actually pointing to this DWSUS WSUS content folder. Now this isn't what you would be expecting to see, but in this scenario, what could happen is if you've installed a secondary software update point and you're using a shared WSUS database and that path was configured after the initial uh, software update point on this server was installed, that database is gonna go to whatever path that secondary sub was configured to look for. Now what happens is that when we attempt to publish these updates, it's not gonna look at the local content path in the registry, it's actually gonna be calling an API that is looking to the SQL database folder to see where it should publish the content. Now in that scenario, since that secondary software update point that was configured to use the same database, it would have been configured on the DWSUS folder, even though that's a separate path than what's on this server, that's why we're getting the issue. Now we do have a deep dive on setting up a shared WSUS database if you wanna review that. If you are using a shared database, you should actually be using a common UNC path pointing back to your primary software update point on this server when you install your secondary software update point rather than using a local content folder on that secondary sub. 
But just as a workaround to quickly get this working, what we can do in this scenario is we're gonna go ahead and copy the path on your primary software update point that should be the WSUS content folder, so JWSUS in our scenario. From here, we're gonna go ahead and open up an elevated command line. We're gonna go ahead and navigate out to the program files, update services, tools folder, and we're gonna run the WSUS util command. We're gonna move the content. We're gonna paste in the uh, folder that we expect it to be where it should be publishing to. We are gonna use the skip copy command because we don't wanna copy anything from the current folder path, which would be DWSUS. First of all, that doesn't exist on this server to begin with. And second of all, there's probably not gonna be any content there anyways. And then lastly, you need to specify a log location. We're gonna call this wsusmove.log. We're gonna go ahead and choose to execute this. Uh, generally, it shouldn't take but a few seconds. We've seen it take up to about 10 minutes in some scenarios though. So at this point, the WSUS content folder is moved. Now, if we execute another query here, we can in fact see that within the database, this is pointing to where we expect it to be on this primary software update point. So from here, let's go ahead and go back to our publishing service. We'll go ahead and run another sync, click OK, open up that patchmypc.log, And this time we can see that everything worked perfectly fine. So we went ahead and published those two updates that were previously failing with that error code. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. And like I mentioned, if you do wanna go through our deep dive guide for setting up a shared WSUS database, that will go through how to configure your secondary software update point to use a shared content folder pointing back to your main SUP so that they can all use the same path and it can be configured correctly in this scenario. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.